YouTube. I'm Zach with USMC Reefer. Uh, if you guys have been following my channel, um, I told you guys in a couple videos ago that I'll be um, doing a couple things to the tank. I got, um, like I told you, <laughs> I didn't know how, how much Miracle Mud it was going to actually take me, uh, take my tank, at least my refugium section, to fill it up. <clears throat> so I bought 10 pounds of this to actually think that it was gonna make a dent in that and I was severely wrong. So if you guys have never seen, this is exactly what 10 pounds of Miracle Mud looks like. And this is typically on Marine Depot or Bulk Reef. I don't actually tell you the truth, I don't think Bulk Reef Supply sells it. Uh, on uh, Marine Depot, this is like $75 for 10 pounds. Could not believe that I bought this, but I did. So uh, I think it was President's Day sale. Uh, Marine Depot has this for like $55 right now. Um, so I picked up two more and luckily for me that I live close to Atlanta where one of their shipping um, places are. So I get it for like in like a day. So it's almost like rush, rush delivery. So it's pretty nice. Um, anyway, so I've got uh, three bags of this and I went to Walmart and got three little Tupperware containers um, to try to roughly fit the dimensions of my refugium section. Um, don't know how um, much I'm gonna have on the sides, but I am very close uh, to filling up the whole area. These uh, for a two pack were like $2, um, but you're gonna spend all your money on this, this Miracle Mud if you choose to do that. So um, the reason I'm really kind of doing this is I wanted some type of substrate in my refugium to make it look a little bit more natural and actually have copepods and stuff living in that area. Right now, I'll try to show you guys here in a second, it is just full of green hair algae and um, chetomorpha that really doesn't grow that well. So uh, hopefully this will be a, another kickstart to my refugium. Just something new to add onto the tank, have fun with it. So. I'll show you guys what um, the refugium looks like now, and I'm gonna take a shop vac to it and suck out, I know it, I'll, I'll probably be taking a lot of pods out and stuff that's good, but I wanna suck out all that green hair algae um, and try to get it looking as nice as possible. Um, and then put the miracle mud in and then just see how it, uh, the tank does. Um, see if anything changes. Um, I'm pretty in tune with my tank. So if uh, there's a, an explosion of anything good, I'll know. And if there's uh, an explosion of anything bad, I'll know too. So um, let's get down to the refugium. I'll show you the, air, uh, the area, see how it looks. And uh, um, I'm gonna clean it out, put this in the tank. This isn't a how-to video. I'm just gonna document what the tank's going through. So uh, let's get down to the refugium section and we'll uh, check that out. All right, guys, if you've never seen it and really, um in detail, this is my, my sump. It's a 48 inch long uh, trigger system sump. Um, this is typically not on my tank whatsoever. I'm just using it for better lighting purposes for the video. Uh, so this is my refugium section. Um, as you guys can see right now, I have a lot of, well, some people consider this a lot of Chetomorpha that's growing, but it's it doesn't grow very well. Um, I've got, some live rock that's in here but um, a lot of this is just detritus um, and green hair algae and literally all in here and these uh, marine pure spheres so I am going to be taking out uh, the marine pure spheres out of here and I'm going to be putting it into my filter sock section down here in the bottom and I'm going to go ahead and put the miracle mud in here and I'm going to use a shop vac and I want to take out all of the uh, green hair algae for the most part and uh, go ahead and give this whole area a big kickstart. So I'm going to go ahead and um, suck out all the uh, green hair algae and then I'll get back to you uh, when I'm putting the um, I'm sorry, I'll be putting the uh, Miracle Mud inside of my sump section. Alright guys, so kind of brief intermission of me uh, cleaning the sump out. 
um, I didn't realize that there was going to be so much uh, detritus that I was going to have to take out versus water. Uh, the shock vac is taken out, so I'm having to make salt water to uh, compensate for that. So just real quick, I want to see how much um, one of these containers, these are 10-pound bags, how much I can fit in here. Hopefully 10 pounds fits in here, but um, I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in here. I'm going to finish cleaning the sump out, and then we're going to go ahead and put these in. All right, so I've used about pretty much three quarters of a bag to fill up one of these. So I've got two more to go. I'm gonna go ahead and fill these up and uh, show you what that looks like afterwards. All right, guys, so a little to my surprise, um, these three containers are 20 pounds of Miracle Mud. So documentation purposes, uh, I will be using uh, 20, um, pounds of miracle mud in my system and that'll leave me 10 pounds uh for my yearly um you're, after a year's time they say you're supposed to change out 50 percent um of the miracle mud so i mean this is roughly probably you know i'd say three almost four inches thick so that'll be a solid semi um deep sand bed slash miracle mode refugium section so i'm really excited to have this uh, down there um anyways i'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning out my refugium area gonna put this in the tank um and then we'll see where we're at at that point all right guys real quick back uh back to the uh, miracle mud real quick got some tank wire in this cup and i'm gonna go ahead and pre-soak this stuff just so it's not floating all up in the tank uh, i'm sorry in the refugium uh as i drop it down so again, this is just regular tank water. Pre-soaking this. To get all that those fine particles down. And uh, go ahead and pre-soak all three of these and get ready to drop these in. All right, I don't know if you guys can see, but um, my whole area is pretty much clear out. All I have is my Cheeto in there. All my, bio, my um, Marine Pure balls got um, brought over there to uh, <clears throat> my filter sock section. So I'm gonna add this Miracle Mud uh, into the tank and replace a couple pieces of rubble rock I have and then uh, we're pretty much set. I'm gonna add one bit of information. If definitely uh, shop backing out your uh, sump at least once a year is uh, looks like it was highly beneficial. Highly beneficial. I got way way more stuff out of here than I thought I would. Awesome. 
them. Definitely 30 pounds would have fit uh, if I would have used the entire space, but them being in these containers, it's going to work out good. So, anyways, uh, just to add the last little bit, um, I am doing an ATI um, uh, test of all my water parameters before I put this in. So, about six months later, uh, after this, I'm going to go ahead and uh, retest and see if anything goes up or down, stays the same, or if there's any change at all. So, anyways, guys, I'm Zach with the USMC Reefer. If you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments below. Um, if you liked the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like to, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you.